In this video, uh, it's a continuation of uh, domes in using SketchUp. Uh, the first video, I showed you how to do a solid dome that looks something like this. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a dome that looks more like this. Um, so let's get started. First, uh, we'll start with the two-dimensional geometry of the dome that well, the base of the dome. I'm going to go ahead and use the um, the uh, draw tool, uh, the letter L, and I'm going to go ahead and draw the base. Now I know the diameter is 20 feet, um, so I'm going to draw the base of the arch that I'm going to uh, extrude, and so I know that is 10 feet on the red axis and 10 feet on the green axis. Then I'm going to draw my arc and I'm just going to pull this out um, to where I think it looks okay. And this is what we want. We want this to fill up solid so we can work from this. All right, now we can rotate this. And I want to get to a good spot. And I'm going to rotate, I'm going to use a rotate tool, letter Q, select that corner, and type in 90, enter, and I'm good to go. Now I only want to copy this line. And so I'm going to use the move tool, the letter M, hit control, because I'm going to make a copy and drop it into place. There we go. Let's move this uh, a little bit over here along the green. Kind of want that out of the way. I have this line, this radius line here for reference. Uh, I'm going to need this. So what I'm about to do is an array. So I'm going to use the uh, rotate tool to create create this array. And the rotate tool is kind of similar uh, to the move tool in such a way to where you can create arrays. And so I'm going to go ahead and click here, click here. I'm also going to hit Control. Well. For that, hit Control to copy, and I'm going to click this end, and I'm going to type in uh, 180. Oops, sorry, pause that. I had to take a step back and fix this angle. Um, so again, I'm going to go ahead and use the rotate tool and I'm going to rotate this arc right here about this axis, but I'm going to make copies of it. And so I'm going to hit control and I am going to type in 180, hit enter. I'm also going to type in the amount of times I'm going to copy it and you have to do that in a particular way. I want to copy this 20 times and hit backslash or slash. I don't honestly remember what slash that was. And bam, there you go. Uh, I wanted to hit 20 because I wanted a particular spacing that I'm going to use to create this. And so right now I'm going to go ahead and delete what I don't need. I don't need that. I do need to get rid of that, and I want to get rid, actually I'm going to keep that just in case. And so right now I'm going to pause a bit, well I'm going to show you how I'm going to create essentially boxes that is going to um,
represent um, one of the slivers of the dome that um, I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just actually making lines uh, at endpoints of this curvature of these arcs. Um, just so I could speed up the process. Now you can do this in various ways in different um, patterns, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just do this real quick. And here is where I'm going to go and create some some geometric triangle like structure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and uh, I'll come back when I'm done and show you what else I want. Okay, I went ahead and finished that and I want to create something that looks more like this. And you can see that there is um, metal frames to hold in this glass. And so I'm going to go ahead and try and create that using offset the letter F and so I'm going to offset this and I'm just going to say half an inch this one as well and I'm going to use the push pull push pull tool the letter P and pop this up half an inch I'm going to do the same here 0.5 and I'm going to do this all the way up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and, and continue this. Um, so again, uh, just one, one more brief one. I'm going to use the offset tool, the letter F, uh, 0.5, 0.5. Um, I'm going to do the same oh, the whole way up. And then the push pull. So I am going to uh, the letter P again, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. You get the idea, 0.5 the whole way up, right? And essentially, I'm going to get my materials and where's the glass? And I'm just going to use this one so we can see what is actually going on. And then I can select metals, um, you know, something metallic, maybe, maybe this one. And I'm going to go ahead and cover this all up with this material. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to finish this entire uh, sliver of this dome, and then I'm going to Okay, so I went ahead and I finished um, this little sliver. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the feature that I like uh, to use when creating um, stuff that I'm going to use over and over again uh, in a repetitive way. Uh, and that is a uh, component. So like if I'm going to make windows uh, for a house and I have one particular window that I'm going to use over and over again, and uh, let's just say I'm creating the window, I'll make a component. Now this is common. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all this and I'm going to get rid of this. And I am going to make this a component. So right click, make component, and I'm going to put Dome. Create. Now this creates a force field around it or well, you know I don't quite know what the terminology is but you can't really mess with this. You can't accidentally oops I painted this or oops I deleted that entire thing. Uh, it all becomes one solid piece. And like I said uh, this, this box right here is this force field that doesn't allow you to, to do that. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the rotate tool. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, use the rotate tool, and I'm going to rotate about the center here. Um, hit control. And I'm going to do this uh, just like I did previously. So 180 degrees, 
enter 20 uh, slash bam I got myself half a dome now let's say I want the rest of the dome oh here's where I like to delete this part and then just select the rest of the dome rotate here copy uh, hit control and then 180 enter now um, go ahead and make these a dome um, a component and uh, just glass oops dome and now it is one solid piece this is a component uh, within components and you can see what it looks like close up and that's it that's how you can create a glass dome oh um, one other thing um, so since this is a component I can double click and I can double click in here and let's just say I wanted to alternate the changes that I make are throughout and you'll notice that the rest of the dome is changing as I make changes and then um, I hit the space bar um, and I'm gonna select tool double click outside anywhere and now you can see all the changes that have been made are succinct and are throughout and that's it. All right. Have a good one.